Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, happy May 2 forward to the Canadians out there. Uh, we got a new bundle of interest to game developers, that is the Low Poly Game Dev Bundle. This is a collection of assets from two creators on Humble. What we have here is the one set of packs from uh, Eldemar Studio, the other set of packs is from Animpix Studio. The entire idea behind this bundle is low polygon stuff, thinking along the lines of what Sinti makes, uh, just a slightly different art style. There's a pretty good thematic uh, consistency between between these two different packs, so they should work relatively well together. The nice thing here is uh, pretty much everything you've got can be used in straight FBX format, as we will see in just a sec. Let's jump into a quick hands-on with these assets. By the way, if you do not know how this works, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff, in this case, game dev assets, organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the stuff below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, to help support game from scratch. So here we see the first one here in Unity. Uh, this is the Survival Assets Bundle. I'm gonna just show you a handful of these hands-on, but you get an idea of the low polygon style assets here. So you got things like uh, apparently <laughs> guitars uh, and camping kits and so on. Uh, then we have uh, blood transfusion packs. So these people camp and they camp hard. Uh, so you get here we got some uh, campsites and so on. We got various different food items here, barrels, weapons, fishing rods. Uh, and then we go over here to uh, various different tools, a chainsaw, and then for some reason a katana. So yeah, these people camp extremely hard. And then they go over here with your shotgun, sniper rifles, and so on. So you get a collection of stuff for a survival style game. Uh, so uh, that that is one of the examples. Here we're going to see the exact same thing in uh, the uh, Unreal Game Engine. Uh, obviously, a lot more bloom on this scene for some example, for some reason, but exact same stuff. You can see uh, this one, these packs all ship as both uh, Unreal Engine assets as well as um, Unity assets, but they can easily be exported out, as I will show you in just a second. So here again, exact same stuff, just in a different game engine. So for all of the packs from... Uh, these guys right here, all the poly stuff, you're getting Unreal and Unity scenes. So we're going to go ahead over here, and here is another one of the examples. This is a uh, polygon uh, city. Uh, I think it's New York specifically, but I'm not 100% on that one. So here you can see kind of a demo level of uh, New York. Here you can see the exact same thing exported out. Uh, obviously different lighting, but here you can see it in the Godot game engine. So it's very easy to get these things, especially low polygon stuff out. Uh, you just, unfortunately, in that case, you're going to need to have access to uh, either Unity or Unreal Engine to do the export. But once it's done, here you can see it running in another engine, no problem at all. Now, the cool thing here is the other set of assets, if I go back over here, these guys, so all of the stuff here from Eldemar, these actually ship like this. So you can see uh, the one set, so this is the low poly sci-fi set. It is a collection of FBXs, like so, that you can just drop into your game, and then textures. Uh, so you don't get demo levels with these guys, at least not with this particular pack I'm showcasing, but you get all of the stuff that's here. Also, you'll notice here there's um, Marmoset tool bag projects here for the textures, but otherwise all your textures are available here with pre-baked, or no baking, depending on what art style you're going for. And I've imported those all into the Godot game engine, so you can see over here, uh, all of them are here, so various different alien planets, or plants in this case, plant. There are planets as well, I thought, so uh, let me see. No, plants. All right, then we'll come down here. We've got another one in, so landing pads, so if you need to have a place for your space, sta space station, uh, spaceships to land, there is an option there. Uh, here is a, a bunch of modular stuff to build together. Here is an observatory. I will drop it on top of there. So really easy to work with there. If you want to bring them into this, like Godot, just drop the uh, the textures in first, then copy in all the FBX files, and then basically just drag and drop. So uh, that is what these are like. So again, here we got some roadblocks, other various rocks in the world. Here, here is a sci-fi bin. It fits in perfectly well on a New York street. <laughs> so that is what you're getting in these packs. So one of them is a collection of FBXs. So that will work in just any game engine you want, uh, basically as a drag and drop thing. The other one is specifically for uh, Unity and Unreal Engine. But as you saw uh, from this, here is the Unreal. Here is the Godot export. Super simple to get it into other engines. It would work with Flax or Stride or whatever other engine you chose to use as well. So this is a nice bundle in terms of... Uh, engine support. You get a ton of different uh, people being supported here, like tons of different game engines supported from this one. Uh, so again, this is the low poly game dev bundle. Total of 36 items for 25 bucks there. Uh, I think it's about an even split between the two companies. Uh, the way that these redeem uh, for the these ones right here, they come down as a single large zip file. So let's head on back over here. Uh, let's go to my 
downloads folder right here. So you can see there's this one single large zip file here based on your tier. And then you open it up and it's got all of the different projects in it. Each one of these projects you'll notice has, so Polygon Houses, for example, will have a Unity package in it and then in a zip file there, which contains an Unreal Engine project. So that's how all of those ones work. For the other ones, uh, for these ones from Eldemar Studios, they all work this way. Basically, you redeem them on the Eldemar website and then you can download them directly from there. So if you want to grab something like this guy, for example, you grab it that way. And as you see, quick downloads there. So uh, there's a bit of a setup difference on how these work. Uh, they're both redeemed on uh, different sites so these aren't going to be on the asset stores they're going to be on each of these companies individual stores for the redemption process uh, and this one again all of the packs from the poly stuff are in a single zip file uh, in terms of previous bundles some of these have existed for sure before uh, i know for example the mega megapolis city pack we've had in a previous bundle uh, and a couple of others so make sure that you don't already own it i think this the last time they were featured was literally just about a year ago uh, so if you're interested in that that is out there so that ladies and gentlemen is the pack again this is the art style you're getting uh pretty consistent across the two packs uh, as you saw when i went over here and into godot and i imported in there is an asset from the one creator and there is an asset from the other creator so the you know, obviously this is sci-fi, this is a city, sci-fi and a city. But as you can see, you could pretty easily mix these two art styles together. You could probably mix in Sinti art assets if you already have them as well, and they would thematically work in that case too. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the low poly, low poly, what, what the heck was this thing called? The low poly game dev asset bundle, I believe. Yeah, the low poly game dev bundle. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Again, cool thing here. Works in a variety of different game engines, so maximum flexibility. But obviously, if you are not into the low polygon stuff, probably not the one for you. Oh, and if you're curious, the $1 tier here, uh, you're getting uh, cars, weapons, uh, survival four of its light, uh, survival collection light, uh, houses and the low poly planet pack the middle tier almost never makes sense so i don't really talk about it in, ever <laughs> and then you see here that the packs we got a lot of different things like uh, post-apocalyptic modern day war sci-fi uh, cities pirates you name it there's probably something in this pack for that genre so let me know what you think comments down below i'll talk to you all later goodbye